Good morning, happy May. I don't know if I've said happy May yet. It is Cinco de Mayo. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. This is another real estate vlog. Um, just y'all, I've been hustling and I don't know. I don't know y'all. I just haven't, I haven't been doing this portion of the hustle, but, uh, I had a client in time. I do think I shared a little bit of when Kimberly came in. That might've been at the end of, um, April's vlog, but Kimberly came in town. We looked at a few communities while she was here for about a week. Um, we settled on one. But these houses are going so fast, y'all. So um, the floor plan that she liked was sold out. So I've been stalking the MLS and the, the listing agent like every day, just trying to be like, when y'all going to release that floor plan? And they released two of them this morning. So I've been going back and forth with Kimberly, the listing agent, to make sure that we're picking the right lot that Kim wants. She wanted one with an extended driveway. Luckily, all these homes in this community have the extended driveways. Um, it's a corner lot, um, and it's the floor plan that she wants. It's a little bit more than what we thought initially when they released these a couple months ago. This floor plan was like right at two ninety six. Now they're selling it for three hundred eight, um, three hundred eight four, three hundred eight thousand four hundred dollars. Um, and then this is in state in phase five. So I'm just so community. happy that we got that. Now I need to hop. On the computer, I have a leasing class this morning. Um, and yeah, y'all, so happy April. Happy, happy April. I mean, May. Happy May. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Okay, ladies and gents. Remember I was telling y'all that we were going to rent out an office at our office space. And we finally did that. So it's still very bare. We need to... Get the office together but i'm here now um <clears throat> waiting for kimberly to give me a call so we can review her contract then i need to call a few other clients and just get get up up to date with um everything that's just going on find some clients some houses yeah no, same old same all right y'all it's still single de mayo meeting a client a referral lease client we've been looking for a lease property for about a week now so hopefully we can find something today they're having an open house on the lease property. It's the first happy Saturday, May 7th. I am just leaving an open house that I did. Open houses can be so those are those are my mother's big old large heavy metal open house signs banging around there in the back. But anywho, open houses can just be so hit or miss, honestly, y'all. Sometimes you get a whole bunch of people, sometimes you don't. This one was from 11 to 2, and I really don't like to do them for three hours, but my mother scheduled it that way. Um, so the first hour was actually pretty dead. It was really like the last hour and a half where traffic really picked up, and I think I had about 10 or so um, families, people, come through to look at the property. Lots of great feedback, beautiful house. It's a little overpriced. My mother has, um, you know, expressed that, you know, some sellers just, they feel like their house is worth a certain amount of money and it is um but when it comes to pricing your home you have to be competitive and in this market right now for sellers it's not like it was you know before uh, my phone's ringing i'm gonna call y'all i'm gonna call y'all back good monday morning today is may 9th oh today's my grandma's birthday um i'm about to hop on a meeting with the leasing team we have these meetings all the time so today is another meeting and then um, send some emails touch bases with some people that I did open house um, that I met at the open house on um, this weekend then I have a showing to do out in Fulcher which is basically an hour away from me um, a lease showing I don't know if I told y'all, but I got, um, did I tell y'all? I got Kimberly under contract, Kim that was here, um, last week, the week before last or whatever. 
we were able to finally get her under contract on the house that she wanted and then what else that won't close until next year like literally a year from now april of 2023 is the estimated close date on the contract so that one is just basically i'm gonna send her an email today they just receded her earnest money so now we literally just sit still sit <laughs> um yeah y'all that's pretty much it for monday so if anything else exciting has happened i'll let y'all know mm. i'll give y'all an update on jessica too because we still haven't closed that either Hello vlog, today is the 10th of May and I am here to do the blue tape walkthrough. Hi! Um, yes, well it's not my house, but... I'm going to do your walkthrough with you. Sure. I'm going to move my truck so we can clean your street right away. Sounds good. Right Thank you. Um, let me show you all the outside. Blue tape walkthrough for Terry. Um, of course he's out of state and Tamisha couldn't be here today either, so it's just me. But here's the house. Lovely. It's like, what color is this brick? Beige-ish gray with the dark trim. Love that for them. Oh, is that right there? Stairs need some new carpet. Dishwasher is running. Let's see, and they got some sod in the backyard. We had added that to the contract. Sod in the backyard and blinds in the house we had added to the contract. Oh yeah, it looks good. Look at how big this lot is. What is that thing? Yes, all right. So let's get this completed. I never knew that. Kind of like the same as the window sills. Yeah. It's a little bit waterproof. I just want to show you the windows real quick. I know the inspector did it, um, but I want to get all the windows do this. Thing. Yeah. Just pop up, pop down. Okay. They go up and down like normal, but you have two little tabs to fold them in. Um, them down. Oh, that's so cool. pretty cool. And then they just go back in. So basically, just lift it up a little bit. There's some two little tabs right there. We'll fold them down. And all of them do that. Well, all the ones that open. Yeah. The one above the stairs obviously doesn't. Yeah. All the operable windows. The right here will be operated the same way. Say that again. The blinds that's coming in, they will operate the same way. Yeah, all the lines operate that way. No more string the lines. Okay. Yep, they're all going to be the same. Good size bedroom. Yeah, it's nice there. So there's no ceiling fans. Is there one? I don't there's think there's wiring for it. Yeah. But not. Yeah. So that's what the extra switch is for. Okay. So if Terry wants to get some fans, he got to go buy them. Okay. The city wants me to relocate this. I'm fighting it because I don't believe in taking away structure at all. Why do they want you to relocate it? Because the filter. Which is pretty easy for me. Um, now, whether I win or lose, it mm -hmm. doesn't affect the homeowner. It's not going to affect you yeah. or the closing. It's just I'm going to have to probably move this and support it over here somewhere. Just, just okay. to give a little bit more room. Yeah. Okay. But here's the filter. But that's my battle. Y'all won't have to worry about that. Okay. It's not a really a here, can you? Sure. There you go, sir. Thank you. Here's your filter. Can you see, ma'am? Okay, so you pull it down right here. Oops, sorry, got a little tape on here. We tape it up for inspections. But once inspections are over, you don't need to tape anymore. Okay. Jeez, they tape this one really good. <laughs> you mind holding that real quick so yeah. I don't drop it? I gotta use two hands. No problem. There we go. You can tell her the size and all yep. that good stuff. Here's this 20 by 25. Comes out right here. Uh -oh. Oops. 
Oh, there you go. I there was. Go. There we go. I see it now. It just pulls out right there. Awesome. That's your I big took a screenshot. Oh, okay, perfect. So instead of, you know, how air filters used to just be up in the ceiling on the things, yes. this house doesn't have that. It's just that one, one filter. Okay. And do not yeah. put them downstairs. It'll restrict the flow and they won't warrant it. Because if they come in to do service and they find filters down there, uh -huh. they'll be like, we can't mess with it. So please don't do that. Okay. It will hinder the performance big time. Got it. Oh my this God. Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, May 11th. And I think we just got the email that I never thought was ever going to come. We have the final on the condo and are ready to close. We are just finishing up a few small internal things to move the loan to closing. I should have it in closing within the next 30 minutes. Are you planning to close today and what time? God, I wish we were planning to close today. Is she crazy? Let me call her because how are we planning to close today? Do you have the funds from... She needs to answer the phone. I don't want to call Jessica. This is for Jessica, y'all. I don't want to call Jessica and get her excited and we don't have the funds for, um, for the rest of, oh God, oh, she better answer. Hi, good morning, Heidi. This is Alexia Edwards. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Your email just made me jump for joy. Like, thank God. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> oh, uh, so do we have the funds from the Neighborhood Lift Program to close today? Oh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I got the condo approved. There you, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I still think we, we have to wait then to get the funds from... <laughs> The neighborhood lift program you need to submit the closing documents to them so they can release their funds is what um the previous loan officer was saying um um i don't remember her name i'm so sorry that's okay we'll figure this out okay so we have neighborhood lift right yeah okay and then we have Like, nobody messages me until I get on the phone, and then I'm in the middle of trying to do something that's all popping up on my screen. I'm like, no, not now. We'll talk to me right now. I don't have time for you to be talking to me right now. Yeah, we need this one. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Let's try. I gotta change the, the status real quick. So, David can finish pricing and stuff. Um, so give me two seconds. Hold on. Let me see if he can keep moving on this. I don't want to hold us up on our end. So yeah. Change this real quick, and then we're gonna go work on this. Okay, y'all, I had to get out the house, but it's still <laughs> same day. Just got off the phone with Jessica and um, telling her about the pretty much clear to close on her loan. Finally, remember, y'all, we were supposed to close on Jessica's loan, March, um, Jessica's house loan, whatever. We were supposed to close Jessica March 31st. It's May 11th, so this delay has been crazy. We've went through, I think this is her third loan officer we have with um, the um, lender she's with, So, which was my preferred lender. Um, so, honestly, this, this chick that's on it now is fine. The preferred lender, he ended up, I don't really know. I don't know if he got fired from the company or if he just left to go to another company. He hit me up and said that he made a decision to go to a different company, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but then we got switched over to some other girl who just wasn't very pleasant, wasn't very helpful. Every time I was, you know, trying to follow up, get updates, see how I could help on my end. She just, she was, mm, mm, my favorite word, she was lackluster. Um, and now we have this new chick so then she 
randomly was no longer at the company. We got an email one day. This person was no longer at the company. Da, da, da. So now we got this new girl, Heidi, this new lady named Heidi, who has been um, really great with just following up, keeping me in the loop, you know, telling me what exactly it is that we need. So if I can, you know, just get anything done quicker on my end. So that's who I was talking to this morning, Heidi, the loan officer. Um, but because it's just been a rigmarole of everything getting passed on, this file getting passed on to loan officer, loan officer, um, I guess she didn't realize that there was this additional funds that would need the closing disclosures as well, which you, I'm not even going to blame her for not realizing. I had mentioned it to her before, but you know, it's just a lot going on. So we would be ready to close if we weren't waiting for the funds the grant money from um, the Houston Neighborhood Lift Program for Jessica, and that is, it's either $10,000 or $15,000, I don't know, but we need the money. So, um, she, Heidi, is getting on that right now um, to see if that can be fast forwarded, because they need three days um, prior to closing to have to get the disclosures and get the money to whoever needs to be sent to. Um, but the only thing about that now is today is Wednesday, so if they can get that sent over to them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Jessica's interest rate, she is locked in it, I think, right at a three, three something, right? Because y'all know interest rates right now are 6%, basically. Damn near might as well be. Um, so they have been having to extend her lock for like almost a month and a half now. And that costs money. I think I mentioned this in another vlog or maybe earlier last month, so I don't know. But it costs money. So they've been eating that cost on the lender's end to extend the lock for Jessica because God forbid this interest rate skyrockets, you know, we lose the lock then hell <laughs> that's gonna put Jessica in a mortgage that I know she she's she's not gonna do so we need to be able to close and then the other downfall about that is is that Jessica is um, she is a graduate student or she's in a doctoral program right now so I think like once a month she has to leave to go to Mississippi to do something for her program and this is the weekend that she does that her flight leaves today 4 15 today um, and then she doesn't come back until Sunday so it's unfortunate because you know she wanted to have the closing experience and I wanted to give it to her so badly y'all like she has been patient she has been understanding like because this is frustrating this like a month and a half this is very frustrating so you know we had talked about it we were like oh we're gonna wear the same outfits we have a, a, a purse that is exactly the same like we you know like I was just really like really trying to do it up for her for her closing experience um but more than likely she's going to have to do a notary close <laughs> which sucks it just sucks. So, it's, you know, it's like, one, now, it always happens like this, right? Like, we get to the, the final countdown, the last minute, and everything seems to be dragging out, and we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the clear to close, and then all of a sudden, boom, and now we have to rush things, and now she has to get, you know, a notary close. It just basically means the lender will send um, documents to her, to a notary to have her sign there um, and we'll just close like that uh, but I got told her when we were on the phone I was like you know the, the main goal is just to get your keys girl like let's just get your clean keys sign the documents and be happy I mean I still have a gift for her I still have I have it all so when she gets back maybe Sunday or whatever we'll go to the house and do something um, fun. You know, just give her that experience because I feel like I owe that to her. Bare minimum, she should at least get a nice experience. Which, honestly, this might, this might 
be even better because if if we do do the notary clothes, then I can really do it big. Ooh. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, so that's where my mind is right now. Um, headed to the office. Y'all know my brokerage where I always got something going on. So I am on the planning committee for Juneteenth. So today is our first meeting to kind of see what we're going to put together for a Juneteenth celebration. Um, and yeah, then I have other things to do, but that's not, it's not very exciting. So, all right, y'all. Bye. Hey, vlog, me vlog. Welcome to another day. It's May 16th, Monday. I just finished showing a lease property for a YouTube subscriber, Monique, thank you. Um, she liked it, so hopefully um, we should be submitting the application tonight. Uh, when I spoke with the agent earlier, it didn't seem like they um, had multiple applicants on it. It's been a few days. Um, she was very positive about us going out to see it and getting our application submitted. So. Hopefully this will be a, a easy one. Sometimes lease applications can just be it, but you know, just, you gotta try. Anyways, I am so excited because we are literally a day away from closing on Jessica's condo tomorrow. You all know that this has been drug out like crazy okay like me and Jessica started working together um, in January or uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna bump. in January I think she might have reached out to me late December but anyway it is now May and um, we are finally about to close on her property she's been under contract on this property since I don't know February I guess and um we were supposed to be closing in March, as y'all know, March 31st was our um, contracted close date. And then there were delays from the builder because they weren't done building. And then we had HOA issues with the insurance on the building. That took a long time to overcome. And then other things happened. So now we're, here we are literally a month and a half later from when we were originally supposed to close and I'm headed to her condo now to meet her for us to do the final walkthrough. Um, we did our blue tape walkthrough on this property. Uh-oh, oh, this poor man. He done lost all his little wood pieces on the highway. Ugh, that's frustrating. Um, we did our first walk, I think April mid-April so it's literally a month since we've done that that was the last time I went back to the property I'm not sure if it was the last time Jessica went back to the property but we're going back today to do a final walkthrough to make sure that everything that we talked about during the blue tape walkthrough has been completed see if the house is clean you know because empty houses like they're just sitting they can collect dust and things like that so if it doesn't look the best then i'm gonna reach out to the um the builder the people that i'm over there and ask for them to just you know have their cleaning crew go through and just kind of do a quick um get ready on it and then yeah then we close tomorrow um i'm, I'm calm right now but i don't really excited for her <laughs> really really excited for her just because it's just been a drag out battle just to get this dang condo closed um and then um terry i've been really talking much about terry on the vlog um y'all should see this other vlog before this i think there was one i think in In my last vlog, I think I was explaining to you all about um, the um, client that chose to work with me instead of the realtor that he was previously working with and that whole debacle. Um, he, he reached out to me this morning. We were supposed to be closing him next week, Monday, because um, he lived in Atlanta. He was going to drive down, all kind of things. But he reached out to me this morning and said... Um, 
life has changed so he's going to be getting here this week and he would like to be able to close on the house this week which originally that was the plan so the house is ready so that's no biggie just had to reach out to all the partners title company lender um builder and make sure that everybody was on board with just moving the closing up so we're gonna actually close him on friday so i did the walkthrough for that last week the first blue tape walkthrough i did that um and then we were actually gonna do the second walk tomorrow but we've pushed that to thursday because i think he drives down from atlanta he's leaving either today or tomorrow so by thursday he can be there to be present to actually see his home um for the first time in person um walk through it and then friday we will go to the closing table so this is good things are moving swiftly uh, what other little updates can i give y'all I have um, two other people under contract that should be closing June. Um, Sherry, Cherie, and Isaac on their Perry home that they are doing a semi-custom build on. And then also Keneal, um will be closing hopefully um, in the month of June as well. Got an email from her her builder sales consultant the other day um, saying that they are projecting a uh, June closing for her house. Canel is the one that uh, literally called me when she was at the builder about to sign the papers and said, hey, can you be my realtor? So, yep, that this that one has been pretty easy, pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So that's good, y'all. Um, and then I have a lot of a lot of clients that um, should be going under contract this summer. Um, a good handful of buyers that are kind of waiting for the summer months to get under contract and get things locked in. So looking forward to that too. So yeah, y'all, that's all the updates that I got for you. So I got here before Jessica. Um, she got she was still at work, so she just called and said she hasn't even left work yet. And she lives works like way out in Baytown, so she's not gonna come. But that's good because I kind of wanted to do like a little balloon decor for her. Um, and since I'm already out here, like I was gonna come tomorrow before closing and do it um and then go to closing and then come back over here but since i don't have anything else to do this evening it's 4 45 now i feel like i can um go find like a party city and purchase some balloons and stuff and have them in here um yeah so let me go do that but first let me do what we came here to do and that's just to make sure that all the touches touch-ups that we asked for are done and complete it really does it looks good um yeah i think i, I showed y'all this town home right or it's, it's classified as a condo but it's really a town home um, but it's classified as a condominium. I'm not sure why, but it is. Uh, but everything looks really good. So, let me go see what I can get done. All right, y'all. So, I walked through Jessica's house. She wasn't able to come. I think I said that. I really don't remember. So, I decided to take advantage of the time that I had out here. Um and do a little balloon wall situation. I'm not a balloon decorating professional, but I think that looks pretty good. At least it's a little something, right? For just all the struggle we went through to get to this point. Just a little celebration for her. Hey, hey, hey. It is May 17th and it is finally closing day for Jessica. Um, I am on my way there, running a few minutes late, 
Well, we're getting there. Um, excited about this. Um, what else? I put in the lease application yesterday for a client. They just sent me a text and said that they got multiple applications. So they're currently processing one. If it gets approved or not, she will let us know. Um, you know, you know the game, y'all. Um, yeah. So, anyways, let's just let's just get to closing. Okay, here we go. New homeowner, please breathe. Yeah. All right. Oh. Let me see that. Ooh, garage ooh, gate. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, garage door <laughs> Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> I'll put it back right there if I get the new home on. Put it back. There you go. <laughs> Alright. You gotta get the keys. That's, ooh, yes. Ooh, wait, wait, oh, that's, wait, wait, wait. What's that one for? Hold on, Pete. Hold on, Pete. No. I'm so tickled. <laughs> Oh, they oh, deflated. <laughs> but they still look cute. <laughs> oh, my dear, you're just blowing my mind today. I'm <laughs> right now. I'm speechless. I cannot believe that this is my life right now. But thanks to Alexia for reassuring me that, you know, hey, um, trust the process, um, see it through. We had a little few hiccups in terms of not on our end, but on the seller's end, but no no worries to that. Alexia stepped in, advocated, we muddled through, and we're here today. Oh, very, very much so a great experience, very professional, um, a response and a, she responds in a timely manner, really wants to make sure she gives her all to her clients. Um, I could really appreciate that. Anytime when I had questions, she was readily available to answer them. So I really could appreciate that from her. Thank you, Alexia, for helping me through this process. Good morning, vlog. Today is... Today is Thursday, May 19th. And we are here to do the final walkthrough for Terry's house. This is the first time I'm actually going to meet him in person. So, we've talked a lot on the phone. Well, let's go see. Let's go see. Just a reminder, here's the house. Probably already know. Um, and if you do, just try to step on the beams or uh -huh. you'll fall right through the roof. Oh, no, we're nobody here up here. Yeah, I mean. Really Good morning vlog. Today is May 20th. Friday, May 20th, and I am headed to closing for Mr. Terry Broussard. Um, watches. Um, yeah, closing day. This transaction was pretty simple once <laughs> I it got in my hands. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's it, y'all. So let's go close. Let's go close. Look at that. It's waiting for you. Yeah, baby. Come on, kick it. Nice. Do a flip. What? My experience with you was good from the jump. Uh, initially, when you reached out to me, uh, sending locations where we'll meet up, uh, caught a really good vibe. As soon as we were introduced to each other, show me around a few places. Uh, I really appreciate the time you took to look up homes, already have it set up for us. This young man, I'm so proud of him and what you were able to do and accomplish for him. Do you like the home? I love my home. My experience was great. Been all the way in Georgia, it was awesome. This Lexi answered every question. She answered the phone every time I called. She missed the call and she called back. Uh, and her energy was outstanding, to say the least. That's what it was Gemini do. <laughs> hey, y'all. So it's later in the day. I'm still the 20th. I am out showing some properties. And I just had a learning moment for y'all. Um, so my client is FHA approved. She can't go conventional. So FHA only. 
and we just looked at this house and it's been on the market like 60 something days I called the list the brokerage tried to called they won't give any details the MLS has like some notes in it saying that the, the seller is very strict it's I don't know it's it's owned by I don't know anyway so can't get any details as to why it's been on the market this long when I look at the um, property archive like to see if it's went under contract option pen, you know option pending whatever at any point in time it doesn't show that it just says it's been on the market for 65 days like with no offers which is a little weird because um, it's a nice house but they're selling it as is go in there it looks good um, but of course you can paint over anything and it look good but as soon as I walk in I noticed that there was no appliances and not just washer dryer um, and refrigerator there's no microwave no dishwasher and no stove so I called her lender because I'm pretty sure that with FHA um, for it to be um, to, to pass um, FHA inspection and appraisal you have to have those appliances in the home so but things change all the time so I called and there's a lot of houses over here in this neighborhood by this same listing agent this Intera and I don't know how I wonder like I, I, I drove by like four of their signs and I've never even heard of them um, anywho you have to have those appliances for FHA so she calls me back I call the, the agent the <laughs> I called the lender to verify that my thoughts are correct and she was like you know what I think so but let me double check she double checks she says if the kitchen actually has a space for it like if the holes are and cords and everything are there um, then yes it must be um, in the property at time of inspection so there we have that um, it was nice house layout she really likes price point was where she wanted it to be at but because they're selling the home as is and their instructions say that they're very strict and they're not selling they're not gonna do anything um, and I can't talk to anybody then it's just there's no point of us even trying so we are on to the next house which is once again by the same um, brokerage same situation I read it but we're just gonna go look and see maybe potentially this one might have um, appliances in there no who like who knows so just want to give y'all that little update uh, I think these are the only two houses we're gonna be looking at it's 4 30 right now on a Friday um, and then I have to drive out to Memorial City to go look at a park which whatever all right y'all there's your lesson of the day <laughs> all right hey vloggy vlog today is thursday the 26th of may and i am here at the mckinnon's house to just walk through it we were emailing earlier and there's been some delays with getting materials here which means they're pushing back our closing date which was initially set for the 16th of june 16th or 17th um, but as you all can see, there's no brick on the house. Um, brick was one of the first things ordered and it's just, it's still not here. There has been a nationwide shortage on brick for houses. So we are just kind of falling in that. Um, the construction manager said once the brick is in, it should be another two to three weeks to close. But I'm gonna go in and see just the other things that they mentioned and just give my client an update. So it's coming along. Flooring is done. They're doing some electrical work. Getting backsplash installed now. The contrast countertops us looking good 
There's also a problem with the sliding door, so they're waiting for something to come in to do something, y'all. <laughs> I would have to read the email, but that's on its way. The patio is the patio. And let's go into the primary. See what's going on in here. Okay. So this still needs to be changed out. There weren't supposed to be any doors. They're just supposed to be doing uh, <clears throat> a piece of wood up there so they can do a um, barn door after the fact. We got some tile action going on in here. The standalone tub. And they were wanting here, my client was requesting for the shelves to all be the same length. I don't know why they would make these too short and these too long. And I'm not really sure what kind of door is gonna be here. It, it looks a little, if y'all can see that, it looks a little crooked, so they're probably going to have to shave off some of that, but, or if this is just going to be open. I don't really know what that is supposed to look like, because that wasn't a part of the floor plan. They asked for that to put, they asked them to put that in there. And then they have some work to do over here as well because they have the shower head over here, the knob is over here, the seat is over here. So they're supposed to be moving the seat. Um, I don't know where they're gonna be moving the seat to. I remember in the email it said they were gonna do like a corner bench. I would assume that that corner bench would have to go over here. So maybe they put the corner bench over here and then they put these shelves back over there or something. I don't know, but we will see. And then also in the closets, they requested to have um, more shelving, like two more layers of shelving, which they haven't gotten to yet either, but they did address it in the email earlier today. So, and then this should just be the commode over here. Yeah. Maybe they're putting a little door there. I really want, I will be there tomorrow. I will try not to bother you all. I won't be entering the home. I'll just be putting the lockbox on the door and the sign in the yard. Okay, and, um, and if you can run that by him as well, that would be great too. Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye now. <sighs> I'm annoyed, y'all. So the lease listing that I did last year, I don't remember if y'all know, um, their lease is up and they're actually moving out, so we need to lease it again. Last year, the property was vacant and ready to be shown um, with no problems. Of course, now this, the property, is not vacant this time around and i don't know if y'all heard i don't but she's literally only giving like a, th a three hour window to show the property she's like between 5 30 and 6 30 p.m monday through thursday um after that it's dinner time girl and then um on saturdays like 10 to noon So we, we, we will see, but if people need to, to get in and just see the property, they're going to have to, they're going to have to flex a little bit in any ways. Um, that's what I have going on. Hey y'all, I didn't even tell y'all today is Friday, May 27th. Um, I'm working. So I have another phone call to make actually. I, Alexia, am the worst person with names. Jermail. I'm here in line. I want to order me a Coke Icy because it's hot. Mahogany. Mahogany is my car. It says it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, my phone is telling me that it is 
93 degrees outside. Who's right? I don't know, but it feels hotter than hell. <laughs> so I need to give me a little something to cool down, but I also need to call Jamel. So let's see if she answers. Um, let's see if she has some information for me. That Please leave your message for Jamel Cooper. Hi, Miss Cooper. This is Alexia Edwards, the real estate agent. I was just calling to get an update to see if you spoke with your son in regards to um, his credit and things of that nature. Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. Thank you. All right. Now, let me call that lady's husband since she wants me to run everything by him. I'm putting the sign in the yard. You don't have the option. Your lease says... Hello? Hi, may I speak with Darian, please? This is Darian. Hi, Darian. My name is Alexia Edwards. I am the real estate agent for the Bramleys. I'll be um, listing your current um, lease home for, for lease. I got your phone number from your wife. Um, okay. Just have a few questions. When I was speaking with um, Miss Dawn, she mentioned that it looks like you all had maybe an ethernet cord or something installed because there's a, a cord running through the backyard. Can you tell me what that is? It's cable to the house. Oh, it's just cable to the house? Yeah. Okay, so there wasn't any like hard wiring or anything like that? Nope. Okay, uh, cool. I think that was really about it. Um, I spoke with your wife. She said the times um, that we could allow showings on the property would be Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30, and then Saturdays, um, 10 to noon. Uh -huh. And then also, I will be coming by the house tomorrow morning um, to install the sign in the yard and putting a lockbox on the door. Okay, okay so how many, how many people, according to Don, she sent me a text message that said there would only be one to two people coming to see the house because they screen the tenants before they send them to the house? Um, we do screen the tenants before we see the house. I I can't guarantee how many tenants will apply and actually want to see the property. Um, no, she, no, no, no. This is what she told me. She told me there would only be one to two tenants. One to two people come to look at the house. That's what she said to me in the text message. Um, well, I'm I'm not sure exactly why she said that. I'm, I can't really tell you why she said that. The way that it works is that we will list the home on the MLS, and people will have the ability to schedule the property to tour the home. Um, you will approve or not approve the showing, but I will only allow it to be during the times that your wife has set. They can go in, take a look at the property, and if they decide to apply on the property, they do or they don't. Okay. Okay, is there concerns or just about who's coming in and out of the home? Tell me what your concerns are. Uh, I don't want to remember myself to come up missing. Okay, I, I do understand that. Everybody that will view the home will be with a licensed real estate agent. Um, so for the most part, everyone knows that they should not be taking anything from the property it won't just be um you know unaccompanied showings with just persons that are not in real estate everyone should be accompanied by a licensed real estate agent what well, they will be not should be because they have to have the lock box code and access to the super that will be on the door and only licensed agents have that right so nobody will be coming in the house without us knowing about it right no absolutely not I can um, get you all's phone number and once a schedule, once a showing is requested, you can, you all will be able to see and you can um, approve that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but I do ask that you all, um, you know, stick with the time frame that you have given since it is such a limited time frame. Um, and I know leases um, are, are very popular and there's a lot of people looking to lease right now. So we need to at least have those time windows available that I, and I oh, will yeah. put those in the notes. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay, perfect. Well, I will be there probably around 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. I really shouldn't bother you, but you may hear me jiggling at the door just putting the, the lockbox on there. 
Okay. And we don't we don't intend to leave the property until June the thirty. I understand. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure because it seems like that we're being rushed out. That's that's just kind of how it seems. It, it, you mean nobody's probably doing it. That's just the way it seems to me. So I felt like I would say something. Oh, no, I mean, you're definitely not being rushed out, but in the lease that you have, it does state um, there should have been a 60-day notice that was given. I'm not really sure how long of a notice that you gave, but Don just called me yesterday to let me know that um, they were wanting to put the property back up for lease. And also in the lease, it does state that once the prop you give um, 60 days for us to show the property while you're still there. So it's not it's not no, a I'm, rushed period. I'm okay with showing the property. I just, I just don't want... I don't want the expectation to change that we're not leaving until June thirtieth. Oh no, we yep we we understand that we know we are putting on the the listing that the property wouldn't be available to move in until July first. So okay, we okay. we do I mean, understand I mean, that I mean, you I, have the remainder I'm, of the month of June. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with everything. I just I just you know uh, we 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 did it this way so we would have time to move and clean the house up and make sure that you know she gets her house back the way she does. Because yeah. she was a really good landlord. And, yeah, I understand. And she just wants to make sure that, um, you know, she doesn't really have any time in between. So, giving these last 30 right. days to find a tenant is um, her main priority. Right. No, I understand that. Completely understand that. So, okay. We'll help as much as we can. Perfect. Thank you so much. If y'all have any questions, this is my cell phone number. Please feel free to text me or call me, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm headed to the landlord's house to pick up the key for the property. And then tomorrow I'm going to go put the sign in the yard. Well, did y'all hear that, ma'am? I mean, we've had this conversation before. You know, sometimes my tone, I work in progress. But did it sound like I was rushing him? I don't know if he got that idea from me or from Don, the actual landlord, but I don't think I was rushing him. I'm just asking for the things that we, we need to know. Like, nobody is saying that y'all have to get out the property any sooner, clearly, but whatever. <laughs> That's how I feel, y'all. Just like, whatever. You gonna put the sign in the yard and call it a day. Good morning, good people. Happy Saturday, May 28th. I look the way I look. <laughs> um, I am headed to go put the sign in the lease listing yard. It went live last night. Showings are very limited. I think like I told y'all yesterday, Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30, and Saturdays 10 to 12. Um, I don't think we had any showing requests this morning. Is today Saturday? Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be exiting, y'all. I'm talking to y'all. Distracted. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to go stick the sign in the yard. And then I have some showings to do starting at 1230. It's 9 a.m. right now. Um, honestly, I really want to go back to sleep. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Feel tired, but that's neither here nor there. Is this is this it or is this street? I'm out here driving wild. So actually, that that was it. That was the street. I missed my turn. That's okay. Multiple ways to get to your destination. You know. <laughs> Hello. All right. Let's go put a sign in the yard. Hey, good people. We are wi oh. I need my hair done. We're winding down the end of the month. Today is May 29th. That means my birthday is around the corner, but we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about real estate. Um, Sunday, May 29th, today is. And I'm working harder on a Sunday than I really, I really ever like. I don't like to work this hard on a Sunday. It's the Sabbath day. But I wanted to just tell y'all a crazy little story. So I told you all yesterday, yesterday, I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I went and put the sign in the yard for the um, 
the lease house. And I think I heard a little bit of the conversation of me talking to the tenant. So my eye has been twitching for like a week and a half now. I don't know what's going on. Um, but the landlord went out of town and she left me a set of keys um, and it was the wrong key for the house, right? So I went to put the sign in the lockbox on the door, but the key happened to be the wrong key. And they don't come back until Tuesday. Remember showings are very limited. So we've already got requests for tomorrow um, and I don't have a key. So I reached out to the tenants. Well, I went there like yesterday morning, like around 9.30ish. Um, and I told them I was coming, but I also told them that I wasn't going to bother them. So I, d I didn't ring the doorbell or anything like that. I was tempted to, to see if I could just grab a key from them real quick to go make a copy. Anyway, I text them. I sent a text message to them. Good morning. I'll need to make a copy of one of you all's keys to put in the lockbox. Hopefully before Monday's showings begin, please let me know when is a convenient time for you all to get this completed. Um, they responded, good morning. You can come today to pick up the key, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, I can be there in 20 minutes. At this point in time, they didn't even know that I was already at the house and I had already left. And so this is the husband that was responding. And he says, okay, get in touch with uh, my wife to make sure, you know, she won't be in a meeting or whatever. So I said, okay, immediately called her because I was like right around the corner. She didn't answer. So I texted him back and I said, no answer from Carrie. I'll come back once you all give me a set time to come back. Because yesterday I had a lot of free time, kind of. Um, so I could have easily went back whenever it was going to be convenient for them. So husband says, okay, right? That was, what time was that, y'all? 9.39 a.m. is when he responded and said okay whenever you all give me a time I'll come back 8 35 p.m. last night I'm at the restaurant turning up with my Gemini friends I received a text message from them that said sorry we didn't get back to you this is from the husband again you can come to get the key tomorrow around 12 to make a copy I respond I said I'm available tomorrow before 11 or after 3. I had other things to do. He says Monday at 10 a.m. I'm not available Monday at 10 a.m. And for me, it's like, I don't need to tell you exactly what I have going on. Just know that I'm not available Monday at 10 a.m. I'll tell y'all Monday at 9.30, I have to be at a funeral home to handle some things for my family. So not available to come at 10 a.m. So... I say I have obligations Monday um, at that time, but if you could leave the key under the mat, I can pick it up once I'm done, make the key, make the copy and put it right back. The wife works from home, so and then Monday's a holiday too, um, so it really shouldn't be that much of it. If you were working from home, you at you at home, right? Like what you need your key for? But you know whatever. Um, Husband says, I'm not going to do that. Maybe Dawn can come get the key and make a copy of it. Dawn is the landlord. He doesn't know that she's out of town. So I said, we have a show request Monday at 5.30 p.m. I can meet you right before to make a copy of the key. This is when things go sideways. And I just, I can't even say all the time. I have I have moments. Normally, normally things with me are, are pretty smooth. But this, this gentleman says, the gentleman says, let me just be clear. We do not work for Dawn. You do. You will need to make yourself available for what's convenient for us, not what's convenient for you or Dawn. So again, Sunday at 12, Monday at 10, between 530, 630, Thursday, da, 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 da. as agreed upon, let us know when you're coming. So, you know, y'all. That energy just, I don't, uh, <laughs> I'm not really here for that type of energy, especially through text message when I talked to you yesterday, everything, you seemed a little, you know, a little worrisome about this whole process, but 
you know, for the most part, that conversation went fine. I told you I'll be there this morning. You know, I've been very respectful. Um, I am trying to accommodate the, the hours that you all are giving for us to show this house, which isn't much, which is, it's annoying, but I'm trying to work through it. And now I'm just simply trying to get a key, which, yes, it's, it's not your responsibility to give me the key. It really is the landlord's responsibility, but right now she's not able to do it. But one, you gave a, th you gave a 32, three-day notice when you're supposed to give a 60-day notice. So we are on a time crunch now of having to find a tenant to get into this property. Um, you receive multiple applications on properties. You know, we've already received a couple, but not all tenants are qualified. So it can sometimes take a little while to find a really good qualified tenant. So he sends that sassy text message and I'm just trying to think of the best way. This time we had transitioned from restaurant to a club and my friends are around me having a good time. And I'm just looking at this text message like, I know this man did not. This is why you some, I should just leave my work device where it is. But because, anyways, there's reasons why I don't. So I'm like trying to get in the mindset of like, how do I respond to this man without one being rude, two going off. Um, and just like getting my point across. So I said, aha. Because he's wrong with what he's saying. You know, like this sentence in, in uh, you will need to make yourself available for what's convenient for us. You're incorrect. You're a tenant. Unfortunately, you, you don't have no rules and convenience in this situation. I'm giving you the option to have that convenience. But really and truly, you don't have that. Like, we don't have to do that. Like, it's the landlord's house. It is her house. So, I respond and I say, Darian is the guy's name. I hope we can have a pleasant experience over the next month. Seeing as you all did not give a written 60-day notice of termination, you must be, we must be able to show the property to potential applicants in a timely manner. I'm trying to make this process convenient for you as possible, but per your lease agreement, I am allowed to access this property. So then I said I can arrive Monday at 5.30 for the showing and make a copy of the key and have it back by 6.30 p.m. And then I also sent him a screenshot of his lease agreement where it says access by the landlord, before accessing the property, landlord or anyone authorized by the landlord will attempt to first contact the tenant, but may enter the property at reasonable times without notice to make repairs or to show the property to prospective tenants or buyers, inspectors, fire marshals, lenders, appraisers, or insurance agents. Additionally, landlord or anyone authorized, authorized by the landlord may peacefully enter the property at reasonable times without first attempting to contact the tenant and without notice to one survey or review the property's condition and take photographs to document the condition two, make emergency repairs three exercise a contractual or statutory lien or four leave written notices da -da 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 -da. so i highlighted that and i sent it to him with that text message so all I have to do is one, try to contact you one time. And if there's no response, I can enter this home. You don't want me to go about doing things that way. Like who wants, I, I, for, I personally don't want to do that to you. Like that is just, that's, it's just rude. You know, like who, like you don't want to do that. But if you want to give me the pushback that you're giving me, and hey, I can fight you back. So he never responded to that. Um, so I called my landlord today to um, talk. I called my landlord. I called my client today to talk about the applications that we've received. And she said, you know, because she was CC'd on these text messages, right? It's my landlord and the two tenants. Um, and she said, yeah, I saw that he was giving pushback. She said he actually called me after you sent that last text message last night. I said, oh, 
he did. She's like, yeah, she, and I said, so, well, what did he say? <laughs> you know, like, I slightly went into gossip mode. I was like, and what did he say? Because clearly he never responded to me. Um, and she's like, yes, he called me at, like, you know, whatever, whatever late time of night it was. And I guess he kind of like went at her, like, what are you and your, your realtor over there trying to do? And, you know, this, this just doesn't seem, seem fair and right to us. And I'm like, what is not fair and right to you, sir? Your lease states everything right here. You have to allow your landlord and their representatives to show this house to prospective tenants within the last 60 days of your lease. You didn't give us 60 days. You gave us 33 days. And so he, and she said she didn't really like, she wasn't gonna like bicker back and forth with him. And I said, yeah, I understand that. But he's on some, you know, I only had to give 30 days to get my security deposit back um, stuff. And it's like, yes, yes. The lease does state that you're not wrong, but it also states that your your lease agreement is not actually terminated until you give the 60 day notice. So now that you gave us a notice on May 20, I think he gave it to them on the 26th, we can technically carry this lease over to a month to month agreement for one more month past when your lease ends. And then you can get your security deposit back. Then. So we can have you pay one more month rent. And then you can get your security deposit back after that. Especially if nobody moves into this home. Because you are not being willing to give us the time to get it done. So, uh, y'all. Uh, uh, I'm just over it, honestly. Um, hopefully, I can go there tomorrow. Get the key. Hopefully he won't be there, but if, even if he is, I'm going to go there and be the professional that I know how to be, put a smile on my face, get the key, show the house, make a copy of the key, bing, bang, bang, and be, hopefully don't even have to see them no more. But even still, like even the condition of like the yard and stuff, they haven't, they haven't been uh, maintaining the yard, which is in their lease, that that's their responsibility. A few things. So the pet in me wants to tell my landlord, like, Girl, take all of that out of his security deposit because if you have to maintain this yard, um, get it back up to standard after he moves out, you take that out of his security deposit. You know, like there's a, a leaky faucet or whatever. That is um, something that the tenant is responsible for. And everything, of course, all these things that I'm saying is going to be per lease agreement. But in this lease agreement, the only thing that the landlord is responsible of fixing is major items. So a leaky faucet, you know, a running toilet, things like that are supposed to be um, the tenant's responsibility. Um, anyways, I can go on and on and on about this, y'all, but that man irked my nerves. But it is what it is. Anywho, that's probably really going to just end out um, the month of May. It's been a pretty good month. Um, so stay tuned for June's vlog <laughs> to see how leasing out this property goes. And I have two closings coming up in June as well. <sighs> yeah. Anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye. Okay, hold on. Just as I was ending the video. The landlord responds in text. It's 542 right now. She sent this at 539 and says, Darian, this is in response to your call to me last night. It is obvious to me. I'm reading this for the first time as I'm reading it to y'all. It is obvious to me that you have not thoroughly read your lease agreement. When you rent a house, there are guidelines in place to protect tenants and landlords. If you read section 14 of the lease agreement, it clearly states the landlord's rights regarding showing the property to potential tenants. I do not have to give you specific times or days for showing the property per the lease agreement. My suggesting to you specific times for showing the properties was my attempt to be considerate. It's 
Stay tuned for his response, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. I really thought I was ending the vlog yesterday, but I'm not because I really want to tell you all what the crazy tenants are still up to. Um, yesterday, they sent this beyond lengthy Bible length text message um, of just foolishness. I, clearly, I can't. I can read and drive, but I'm not gonna show y'all that I can read and drive because I, I just should not be reading text and driving. So I'm about to get to this gas station. Put some gas in mahogany. I'm headed to their house to finally put the key in the lockbox. I saw my landlord today. Well, the landlord today. She came back in town. Um, I don't know if she came back early specifically for this. I kind of feel like she did just to kind of cut the interactions that I, I have to have with her tenants because unfortunately it's just like it's just at that level that I called my broker yesterday after they sent the ungodly text message oh I'm at a red light let me read <clears throat> this is from the husband we have only been good tenants to you and took really good care of this house I don't want to make this ugly but we're getting really close to that point green light y'all anyways um called my not my broker, but I called our new sales manager, who is also a broker, um, to just like run this situation by her and ask her what is the best way to go about handling this. Because <laughs> I, Alexia, I have a little bit of nuck if you buck in my system. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's just that's like my my natural reaction to foolishness like watch yourself because I, I i might want to come back at you but i know that's not the right thing to do in this scenario so i called my broker and i um read her all the text messages the one that i'm about to read y'all here in a minute and sh her response to me was honestly you know and she's so funny she's like I know that you want to put your foot up there bleep you know because I want to do it for you <laughs> she's like you know but some people are just they're just very difficult and she's like you know I've dealt with this time and time again you know when it comes to tenants you know I feel like the best solution is really just to remove yourself from the middle as the realtor your client is the landlord not the tenants and it is the landlord's responsibility to deal with the tenants. And she's absolutely right. And so I said, okay, that that sounds good. I can do that. The only reason I even got in communication with the tenants was to ask about the, sh the showing times. Like really, I just wanted to introduce myself, who I was, and when I was gonna go put the sign in the yard and you know, all of that. Foolish me to think that trying to do the right thing and introducing who I am when I'm going to be on the property that they're currently renting and not, you know, having this stranger show up every now and then, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, she basically just said, let the landlord deal with it. You know, let her know that, you know, the restriction that they are giving is going to limit how much you can do your job as far as getting the property rented out. And until she gets them under control, um, it may take us a little bit longer to rent out the property than um, intended. And she's right. And when I went over to, my, to the landlord's house today, um, you know, I expressed to her that I've had multiple people call wanting to see the property at different times. Um, but, you know, this time frame that the tenants are giving us the Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30, <clears throat> and Saturday's two-hour window is, is not really feasible for a lot of people. 5.30? You want people to come see a house right at 5.30? So anyway, so a lot of people have had to decline um, being able to see the home. Because
because that time frame just does not work. And then, okay, let me let me get mahogany pumping, and then I'll tell y'all about this conversation I just had less than an hour ago, maybe like. Okay, I forgot to turn on the camera, y'all, and I was talking. So, we have only been good tenants to you and took really good care of this house. I don't want to make this ugly, but we're getting really close to that point. Paragraph 14 says you or your agent can come at reasonable times. It is unreasonable for you to parade people in and out of this house while Carrie is working. Secondly, regardless to what the lease says, we still own the right to quiet enjoyment. Thirdly, this is still our house and our property is in here. In our house, we can do and act any way we like. We have the right to possess, the right to exclude, and right to control and the right to quiet enjoyment. Those rights are given by the state of Texas. You gave up those rights when you leased us this home. Finally, it will be more costly for you and me if we have to evict us and let the courts decide what quiet enjoyment and reasonable times are if I choose to restrict all. You can't, uh, all, if I choose to restrict all access. I want to work with you guys, but not at the expense of Carrie losing her job. The info she deals with is very sensitive to the point that she can't share with me. I am telling you this because there are laws pertaining to this. At this point, no one is restricting access. We are being as open as we can be. If you guys want to work together, we are willing. Let me know. Monday through Friday, 5.30 to 6.30. Saturday, 10 a.m. to noon as we agreed. By the way, we are packing to and preparing to move. Now, what I said to you last was I will not be bullied, pushed out, intimidated by you guys calling out the lease and assuming we don't know. Also, we will not do anything that your agent is responsible for, such as making copies of the keys or anything that pertains to her doing her job. I'm not making any adjustments for her, and she will respect my wife and I, or it will be uncomfortable. Wrong! Again, I am willing to go to court, be evicted, or whatever it will take. I believe the courts will agree with us just based on the sensitivity of the information Carrie deals with. Let's just work together. Dude, hold First on. of all, your lease ends in 30 days, right? 31 days. July has how many days? 30 or 31 days, whatever. Your lease ends, no, June. Your lease ends at the end of June. Who do you think? Nobody's trying to evict you, crazy man. The only reason somebody would be trying to evict him is if he really pushes back on um, allowing showings on the property. But like, dude, and then you tell me you doing my job. Nobody, nobody asked you to do my job. There was, there was no point in time where anybody asked you to do any part of my job. You can't do my job because one, you're not a licensed realtor. I could really go on and on about this, but I'm not gonna. <sighs> Anyways, so that was that. I sent a text back and I said to him, I'm not, uh, Darren, I'm not sure why you're giving so much pushback. We've currently agreed on the limited time to show the property that are convenient for you all. The only thing being asked of you is to allow me to do my job and make a copy of the key. Nothing else has transpired in regards to accessing the property. Am I able to collect the key at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow? Question mark. This is before I knew Dawn was coming back today to give me a copy of the key herself, right? So... Then he responds and says, I already told you that. Instead of you saying that you sent me a text message full of BS, the times we agreed upon is what we intend and will do. I also gave you two other times to come and you refused. I did not refuse. I told y'all this. I had things to do. If your interest was in the client, you would not be talking. We would not be talking about this. You're not my client. My client understands. You are somebody that would never be my client never because you clearly have the mentality that somebody works for you and we're supposed to hop up and jump whenever you say so <laughs> simon says type of person uh you not simon i am and you not saying okay so that was his response to me and all i, I responded and i said i'll be there tomorrow 5 30 p.m thank you so then that was yesterday 7 43 p.m today four o'clock my phone rings and it's his wife and she calls and says um i i 
would like to know what protocols you all have in place for COVID. <laughs> Which honestly, it caught me off guard at first. And I was like, what? COVID? You know, like clearly it's, it's May 30th, 2022. <sighs> the world is moving on from COVID, sis. The world is moving on. Catch up, catch up. Although there has been a spike recently, but catch up. So, I said, okay, Alexia. I really wanted to tell her, please don't call me, only talk to Don, because I told Don earlier when I was at her house that I wasn't going to communicate with them anymore. But her phone number is not saved in my phone, so I answered it. Um, so I said, well, there are protocols. There is a document that I can post on the listing that people will have to um, acknowledge and sign, basically stating within the last 14 days, they themselves have not had COVID or they haven't come in contact with anyone that has COVID for them to access the rental property. I said, I will speak with Dawn and see if that is something that she wants to put in place for her property because the property is hers. Although you may reside there, I don't work for you, remember? I don't work for you, I work for Dawn. Like you clearly reminded me. <laughs> um, well, that was the husband. And so she was like, okay, you know, that would be good. And can you also make sure that um, everyone wears masks when they come here, including yourself? Oh, uh, I said, sure, no problem. You know, and I was see, I, I answered the phone all jolly and happy because I didn't know who it was. So my tone stayed the same. Like, I don't have an, I genuinely don't have an attitude with you people. Y'all are the ones with the attitude and doing the foolishness. So then she goes, so after I said, okay, sure, that's fine. Um, she goes, okay, see you at 530, click. I'm like, Ugh. So then she sends a follow-up text message. After that, just told the realtor to make, and she knows my name, the realtor, because when she called, she said, may I speak with Alexia? You know my name, sis, the realtor. <laughs> I'm so petty, y'all. Just told the realtor to make sure everyone has masks and ask what precautions for COVID have been taken. I didn't respond because remember, I'm done talking to them. Landlord responds and says, I agree with the COVID precautions. I will come by today at 5.30 p.m. I need to speak with you and Darian regarding the signed lease agreement. Wife responds back, we as well, capital, need to talk to you. See you at 5.30. All I can think, y'all, through this whole little tit for tat is that I'm not making enough money off of this to be going through this type of drama over no lease. You know, like, the home is, is leased at $2,100, okay? If I lease it, if I find a tenant, I collect the full $2,100, I give my broker J split, gone by my business. If another agent procures a tenant, they get 50% of that lease amount i get the other 50 and go on by my business either way it's not worth it it's not worth this type of drama not no stanky lease ah. i digress so that's where we're at with it y'all that's that's where i'm at with it right now i'm gonna go there I'm going to jingle that door, see if this key works, and I'm going to leave. I don't even want to stay for the conference. I, I don't want to be no part of that because it's not my business. I just, Don, handle what you got to handle, sis. Get your little stanky tenants under control. I don't know what I did to rub them wrong so badly, and I genuinely mean that, like, he's mad that I sent him a screenshot of the lease, but you over here talking, talking all this smack about things that you can da 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 you signed a lease agreement that says this sir everything everything opposite of what you were you were threatening you you signed this paper this document and you talking about we gotta go to courts and da 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 the courts not gonna side with you the courts are not gonna side with you we signed you a residential lease just because your wife decided to work from home does not mean that we have to respect whatever business commercial stuff that you have going on in that house like he tripping tripping hard and like the petty in me 
almost wants to just see that process happen just to prove him wrong because I know you're going to be wrong. Like, you are a landlord in somebody else's property. No, no judge is going to, to rule with you trying to block access on someone else's property. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting there with six minutes to spare. Let me listen to some good tunes, probably some gospel to calm my soul, and I'll update y'all after the fact. All right. So, the verdict is in, and they just don't like me. <laughs> really, it's not even me. They have something against realtors, um, is what it really is. For what, I mean, so when we got there today, trying to defrost the meat, but really I need to go, 6.55, I need to go to the gym. Um, we got there, opened the door. I said pleasantries, hello. I tried the set of keys that she gave me. They still didn't work. So I asked the husband for his key. I went and made a copy, came back, Gave him his key back, gave the landlord one, and I put one in the lockbox. And I told Donna, I said, if you need me, call me. I'm out of here. She was sitting down at the table talking to them. So she just calls me now. She's like, I'm back home. And, you know, we ran through pretty much everything. I said, so what really is the issue? I was like, were they being as pushy in person as they were via text message? And she said, no, not really. They just have the attitude and mindset and they verbalized that they know more about real estate law than her and I do. They know more. Um, basically, they feel like the lease agreement means nothing to them. Um, the lease agreement means nothing to them. They're going strictly based off of what Texas law says. The lease agreement is just a paper. You know, that's their mindset. And then they basically asked her, well, why are you even using a realtor? Like, you could do this by yourself. You don't need her, is what they told her. Like, why are you using a realtor? What, what did I do? I did nothing. So she told them, you know, I've been doing this for umpteen years, and, and that's my choice. You know, because I guess they made some little side comment about, you know, I don't know how long she's been doing this, but does she really know what she's doing? And da, da, da. So glad I wasn't there for that, y'all. First of all, they wouldn't have said that in front of me anyway. We know this. So I told Don, I said, well, just I won't be communicating with them. And she said, well, they said the same thing, that they'll just communicate directly to me if there's. And I said, well, luckily, there's nothing else that needs to be said you know, um, I guess they gave us an additional day, Sundays, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. to look at the property, which is whatever. Um, I guess the wife plans on staying in the property while the house is being shown. So I'm just ready for this to be over. I'm just like, please, we have a showing tomorrow. Wednesday and Saturday morning as of right now and I'm just praying that one of these tenants or um, these applicants will be it so we can get this over with <sighs> you lord y'all I'm just like you you don't like my career choice so you choose not to like me they clearly they've had I think Don was saying that they've had some run-in with realtors in the past and they just don't vibe with realtors is what it is they feel like Realtors are not needed. So that makes them have a snooty attitude towards me. Um, so that is what that is. You know, like people will be people. Anyways, y'all, I'm really going to go ahead and end the vlog here now. Um, <laughs> thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for always listening to my, my drama field stories. And I hope, as always, that you're learning something through this process with me. Okay? If you know anybody in Texas and Houston, or if you're looking for a referral in any other state, because I got the referrals on lock too, 
<laughs> send me an email, slide in my DMs, comment down below, whatever it takes to contact me. Um, all the information is below. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.